Now, the Move tool does just what the name implies, but there's more to the story than just moving stuff around. The Move tool is located at the top of the toolbar right there, and there's a reason for that because it's a tool you'll use probably more than any other. So let's take a look. Now, when you click on the Move tool, you'll notice the Options bar up here gives you a number of options. Now, these icons down here are grayed out for a reason, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But to begin the examination of the options bar, we'll take a look at this drop-down list here, and this is where you put the tool presets. And although there are many presets for some of the other tools, I'm not aware of any for the Move tool, and I've never used it, so we're going to go ahead and just skip past that. Auto Select, however, is a different story. If we take a look at the Layers palette over here, we see that we have chosen this layer here, a girl wearing jeans, which is this text layer. I can come over, click on this layer, and activate or choose this top section of text that reads Sarah is. Now, if auto select is on or checked, then I can just come down to the image, hover over the area I want to activate, click on it, and you can see that in the layers palette it's automatically chosen. I can go back to Sarah is, click on it, and it's chosen. I can come down to here, a girl wearing jeans, and it's chosen again. If I turn this off, I can click on that layer and nothing happens. I have to come over to the layers palette, click the layer, then come back over and do my work. So it's very convenient to leave this checked. I almost leave that on all the time unless I know I'm only going to be working on one layer. Show transform controls. You'll notice the nodes that when the layer is chosen, the nodes appear. If I turn this off, the nodes go away. Two reasons why this is a good thing to leave checked. Number one, it helps you identify the area in the image that's chosen without having to come over to the layers palette and look it up and then go back. You can just automatically see which portion of the image is chosen. The other thing that's good is that rather than come down to click on the text icon to activate those text functions, all I have to do is come up, grab a node, left click, hold it down, drag it to change the shape. I can change it this way, and then of course I can come over to the corner and you'll see the curved arrow, left click, hold it down, drag it around, and I can change the angle. And then let's move this over here just a little bit, hit enter to keep those changes, and there we have it. Very, very simple. Now let's take a look at what these icons are. And in order to activate this first section of icons, we have to come over to the Layers palette, hold down the Shift key, left click to choose two layers. And now we have both sections of text chosen. I can come over, grab anywhere in the bounding box, and move both pieces of text simultaneously. The other thing I can do is very quickly come up here, and I can adjust the justification. Now keep in mind, this justification is alignment based on one section of text relative to the other. It has nothing to do with the image. There are other things that can control that. But if you want to use the Move tool to say center one section of text over another, or if you want to right justify it or left justify it, of course you can do the same thing vertically if you want to. Very, very quick to come over and just click on this icon and everything is done perfectly. Now, obviously, the thing that you can do with the Move tool is move layers around. So let's click this top one, left-click, hold it down, and, of course, drag this down to reposition the layers. And, of course, if you choose any one of these tools, let's say the Crop tool, and we can come over to the Layers palette, and the Move tool is automatically activated when we move our cursor over into the Layers palette. One more thing that's very cool about the Move tool, and, again, you can do these with any one of the tools up here, but I prefer to do this with the Move tool because let's say you click on the Crop tool and you automatically do this, which I've done many, many times. Then I have to undo that and start all over again. You don't run that risk when you have just the Move tool. So you come in, hold down the Alt key on the PC and the Option key on the Mac and push away to zoom in and, of course, pull towards you with the mouse and to zoom out. Now, let's also look at another way to use the Move tool, and we'll zoom in close to her top here, but let's say I want to take a look at her face. I'm going to hold down the space bar, and you can see it changes to a hand. Move tool changes to a hand, and then I can left-click, hold it down, and drag to different areas of the image. So there you have the Move tool. It does a whole lot more than just move things around. It helps making your navigation within your workspace a lot, lot easier.